today, it's Rowena List from gettingittogether.ca and today I'd like to chat with you about should I keep the box? Oh my goodness, every home that I work on has boxes, empty boxes. And these are boxes from electronics, from big TVs, from cell phones. And the reason behind this is people always think that they need to keep the box. They've heard this myth somewhere. Now the only reason that you would need to keep the box is if you were going to return it. Now if you have, haven't returned it within 30, 60, 90 days, I don't think that you could probably return it after that time frame anyway. So you can get rid of the box if you're not going to be returning it. Some people feel they need to keep the box if they're going to sell it. Now if you're going to sell an electronic uh, that's really specialized, then maybe you would need the box, but on most occasions, everything that I sell for my clients, I have never ever had the box. And then some people say to me, yeah, but Rowena, I need to keep the box for when I move or in case I move. Well, again, you know what? If you're not planning on moving anytime soon, then you don't need to keep the box because you'll probably hire professional movers and they can bring those big, blankets and they can pack it all up themselves and you know they'll take care of it especially if you've got one of those humongous TVs. So you don't need to keep the boxes and if you did keep the boxes they're taking up valuable real estate and they're also getting very dusty and musty and full of mites and ticks. Ooh, yuck you don't want that in your house. So you have my permission to go and get rid of all of the boxes. For more tips check out the article below and if you haven't had a discovery session yet, by all means, I'd love to hear from you so that we can discuss any particular challenges that you have when it comes to decluttering, getting organized, and staying organized. Check out gettingittogether.ca.